Right. Good evening. Um, you guys have thanked everybody here, but I also want to thank the Beacon for putting this on, and uh, certainly want to thank all of our citizens that are here tonight. Um, I also want to take this opportunity to personally thank all of our citizens for the opportunity um, that I've had for the last three years of representing you as your mayor. Uh, I'm humble, I'm proud, and uh, I really appreciate that. For the next four years, uh, because I was unopposed, I have the honor of representing you uh, down for the next next four years. So I just want you to know I'm there for you. Uh, I listen to you. Uh, if you have suggestions or comments or whatever, I'm always open. You can email me, call me. I'm very accessible. You'll never see me or hear me say, I I have done a lot for our city in the last three years, or I want to get a lot of things done in the next four years. But what you will hear me say, myself, with the help of my city council, our city staff, our volunteer groups, and our citizens, have achieved a lot in the last three years. And some of those things you, you see, some of those things you may not see. Unfortunately, in government, it takes a little longer to get things done uh, than we may like. But if you just look around outside, everything you see, ultimately we have touched out with our city. From our public safety, our top-notch police department, our fire department, uh, we're all proud of them. To our infrastructure, uh, some of these things you don't see yet. We've got some uh, road improvements that are in line. We funded and are in our budget. It may be two or three years before you actually see them, but we are working on them. Our parks and recreation, we are all committed to having top-notch parks and recreation. And, you know, basically, we want to make our citizens have a better life living in Milton. So, thank you. I want to thank all of you for giving me the uh, honor and privilege of serving you for the last three years. This is a community that I love. It's where my home has been for the last 25 years. It's where my husband and I chose to raise our family. And it's something that's very important to me. Um, for the last 15 to 20 years, I have been really working to try to preserve what we have up here. We have a very unique place in Milton, and I think it's very important that we work to keep it as unique as it currently is and to preserve what we have up here. And I just really want to thank everyone for allowing me that opportunity. Um, I would love to have another four years to continue working on the things that we're working on. As the mayor said, we've made a lot of progress. We just still have a long way to go, and I know that working together, working with the community, getting their input, that we can make Milton the place we all want it to be. Thank you, Mr. Lusk. Thank you, Mr. Fredericks. <clears throat> Good evening. I am obviously Bill Lusk. I've represented uh, District 3 in the city since incorporation in 2006, and I'm honored to have served you. As any of you may know who have been to city council meetings, uh, might have detected that I'm uh, the uh, silent one or the one who doesn't speak as much. Uh, it's not that I'm asleep at the switch. It's the fact that I listen a lot more, I guess. Uh, I learned a long time ago that uh, I can learn more when I listen rather than uh, bloviate. But uh, I've been involved with the city and uh, since we moved here back in 1999 and been involved in different uh, uh, parts of the formation of the city, public works uh, subcommittee and uh, in the formation committee itself. So I've taken an interest in this uh, when it, was, it first became uh, evident that we were going to go ahead with statehood. And I've carried that passion with me throughout the last three years on council. And it's, uh, I don't have much more to say than what the, the mayor and, and Karen have said, but I think the three of us have um, worked well together in the last uh, three years to uh, get us to where we are today. And I would appreciate the uh, privilege of serving you for four more years. Thank you. Mr. Longoria. Uh, I just want to say thank you to Beacon real quick and um, 
I sort of feel strange up here because I, I'm the odd man out. Uh, I'm the one running for a position that I don't hold right now. And my colleagues up here all have that privilege right now. They're, they're already serving the city. So um, uh, I want to thank them for, for being here when uh, uh, maybe the situation wasn't optimum and, and maybe there was options that, that we decided not to take. But uh, I, I'm here because I'm, I want to get involved. I want to uh, help the individuals that are sitting up here uh, do a good job for Milton. When I moved here 11 years ago, uh, I immediately got involved in, in what is now our city. I couldn't help it. There was just too many good people here. I was uh, having too much fun helping. And so uh, taking that next step, doing something a little bit more, going uh, yet another uh, mile to, to see how I could get involved made perfect sense to me. And uh, I was very excited the day I handed in my, actually my wife handed in my application to run. And uh, and I'm excited. I've been excited all through this campaign, and I appreciate everyone showing up, having the opportunity to uh, to listen to us talk. Please think about those questions you're going to ask in the second part of this, and uh, I'm anxious to get going. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, uh, Mr. Coria. Our first question is to Mayor Lockwood. Mayor Lockwood, you have publicly endorsed the three incumbent council members who are up for real election on November 3rd, two of which are present tonight. Since your original endorsement in September, uh, one of your indoorsees, uh, incumbent councilwoman Tina DeVersa, has publicly endorsed the opponents of two of your three members, Councilman Bill Husk and Councilwoman Karen Herman who you also support last week, two of the city's most well-respected business people went on record publicly uh, saying they had been threatened with reprisals for not supporting Diverse's campaign for re-election. One of the reprisals included a potential boycott of a uh, commercial business in Crabapple. As the leader of the city, how do you reconcile those actions with your continued support of Councilwoman DeVersa? 90 seconds. Thank you. Good question. Let me go back about three years ago. There are probably people sitting here that I probably would have not supported three years ago. And it's safe to say that uh, they probably would not have supported myself either. But over the last three years, I've learned to work with my council. 